Hello everyone. Thank you for taking this session. Uh, my name is Udayan Elangovan and I am going to be speaking to you about the industrial transformation. As we all know, developed economies can no longer afford to compete on price and cost alone. With the growth of the internet driven economy in recent years, economies have placed a strong focus on innovation and technology oriented as well as high value added manufacturing uh, which makes them to stay competitive in this uh, uh, smart connected world. We nearly deal with advancement of science, research and innovation in each field or each domain across the globe. Industrial development is incredible. One of the largest trends is automation, which also influences the area of manufacturing, power sector, health sector, and so on. None other than Industry 4.0, which is the buzzword or is the latest modern technology that has been spoken by the business tycoons across the globe. Pleased to state that we are all lucky to be in this era of Industrial Transformation 4.0, uh, which opens up lots of uh, chances or opportunities across multiple fields, in, especially in automation, uh, in, in further drill down in terms of manufacturing or industrial automation. So in this session, we are going to travel through different stages of industrial revolution and going to touch base on the key pillars of manufacturing uh, such as product life cycle management called as PLM, enterprise resource planning called as ERP, manufacturing execution system called as MES and industrial robots. The large industrial innovation in the background of human life uh, known as the industrial change which has changed the human life significantly. There are a lot more reliable means of manufacturing as well as subsequent greater levels of production that set off for ranging changes to industrial societies. Basics of uh, all changes to uh, is the advancement. I quote with the saying like need is the necessity for all development that causes transformation. These technology in industry or uh, uh, we can say like um, it resulted in industrial transformation. In the contemporary period, manufacturing facilities are often transformed by technology based industry hubs. The trade expansion were made as a result of the modification from an agriculture economy to an industrial machine driven economy for the automation of design to manufacturing of product through services, which resulted from quick development of the technology across different industrial sectors. The primary revolution that occurred during the industrial transformation was the renovation along with the execution and adaption of uh, technological innovation. The recent development of technology innovation is a recurring journey. The speed of innovation and also transformation continues to enhance. The transformation is not new to the industrial sectors. It is a thought about uh, how significant the resource of industrial economy. Organizations that absolutely show up with clear business leaders vision towards digital transformation. They are going to upgrade their business model uh, from we can say like uh, with, from industry uh, 1.0 to industry 2 to 3 to 4. So what you are seeing looking at here is the uh, bird's eye view of what each and every industry transformation is talking about. To stay relevant in changing times and also differentiate from the competition, the people are able to think artistically and welcome the innovation right into the product development in the fast growing industrial economy. 
with this said let's have a look on the brief overview of a different industrial revolution on the coming slides industry 1.0 with the development of the turning jenny and also the power linger around the product company were raising so the first initial industry uh, i can think of like uh, industrial revolution which starts with some uh, farming or agriculture but in it most to the industry based uh, uh, transformation the textile industry where the initial uh, uh, what you say like the first industrial revolution that has uh, changed across the uh, different uh, communities so garments are made much quicker than any type of uh, things in the uh, which is done by other uh, times the power linger made use of uh, water or steam powered capability to view the product so even it can be called as a mechanical transformation that occurred between 1750s to 1870s the product business especially was changed by automation as well as transportation so the gas resources like steam and also coal made manufacture to utilize more functional and also assembling of products with the devices quickly spreading across uh, the work the steam powered locomotive produced more economical uh, you can say like uh, enormous transformation in transport of goods so that helps the people to transport the good from one one place to other place initially they were uh, initially the people were uh, uh, looking for uh, uh, transport through horses and other way of communication but this revolution has changed the uh, overall uh, transportation of the people as well as goods this throughout the industrial transformation the environmental pollution boosted with uh, using brand new sources of gas the development of large manufacturing facilities so the first industrial transformation or the first industrial revolution was a time that provided lots of social economic reforms together with the several of the most functional technological wonders so let us get into the next uh, industry revolution 2.0 so enormous technological innovation in the field of uh, industries that aided the introduction of the internal combustion engines called as ic engines in automotive industry innovation of electrical energy uh, use of steel the chemical sectors alloys petroleum and electric interaction technologies the existing manufacturing along with the production techniques of first industrial revolution were improved uh, you can say like the enhancement of the first industrial revolution happened in industry 2.0 by the technological transformation which marks a stage of rapid automation advancement in manufacturing technology materials manufacturing tools or made it to standardize all kinds of goods that remade the manufacturing landscape so science and technology innovation works together where science returns effective insights that drive technical development so numerous innovators understanding the benefits of uh, ic engines or heavy steam engines tried their hand utilizing energy generally in the automotive field or automobile field the development of a continuous flow process with interchangeable parts usually related to production line were actually originated automobile environments or you can say automobile plant factory environment opens the gate to standardizing the mass production of intricate products the introduction of a telephone radio conveyor belts cranes machines all been powered by electrical power so likewise hydroelectric power plant along with the coal based steam power plants were developed so usage of steel were increased in the place of iron in the construction of ship building uh, high rise buildings and larger bridges so this this revolution influenced on financial development besides uh, performance was far more absolute than any type of technical advancement and uh, you can say like uh, thanks to the all the development and concept of the inventors the second industrial revolution 
have certainly to be summarized as a positive advantageous time for the industry. The invention of the electrical energy, automobile along with the aircraft in the beginning of the 20th century are the reason for this particular second industrial transformation and is considered as one of the most important one of the revolution. Industry 2.0 familiarized the processes and leading to improved product quality and manufacturing effectiveness along with efficiencies such as just-in-time uh, called as GIT, uh, lean principles to enhance industry 1.0. Equally, first and second industrial revolution enabled the whole world to see where industries are currently moving on. We cannot reject on the fact that automation and industrial transformation caused some unfavorable effects to the globe. Let's jump on to the next revolution, Industry 3.0, uh, which has been one of the most uh, important in terms of automation field or introduction of computers. The second half of the 20th century saw a surge of increase of uh, using uh, computer systems, automation, robots, renewable energy, nuclear energy, electronic devices, telecoms, internet and digital revolution what is called the third industrial revolution majorly the industries are defined by regular advanced and unpredictable market variations and competitors the, the manufacturing industry constantly operating in the competitive world of manufacturing so industry needs to make a production system that not only create high quality products, but also at cost effective expenses. However, uh, likewise, it's allows for fast reaction to the marketplace, changes, customer requirement, besides the production environment should absolutely no machine downtime. That is the main aim of uh, having uh, automation or you can say the introduction of this uh, pro uh, program programmable logic controls, PLC and etc. The era of automation was spearheaded within the automotive sector and eventually be embraced throughout all the manufacturing sectors. Industry 3.0 generated the growth of software application to capitalize on the electronic hardware. Electronic devices along with information technology started to automate manufacturing as also take supply chain globally. Complex and recurring jobs were performed by software programs uh, make, makes it possible for process automation both in the workplace, in the product design, as well as in the manufacturing sector. Innovation in computer assistance and the advancement of microprocessors or microcontroller, the advantages related to computerized process control were recognized in the majority of the industrial sectors. While there were uh, many substantial technological innovation throughout this period, it is the emergence of computer assisted applications such as uh, computer aided design called as CAD, computer aided manufacturing, uh, computer integrated manufacturing, computer numerical control, enterprise resource planning, material requirement planning, customer relationship management, supply chain management, rapid prototyping, product lifecycle management, manufacturing existing systems. SCADA are called as supervisory controller and uh, uh, data acquisition. Those enables new product development and the new product team, introduction teams to strategize, routine and track product streams throughout the design and development through the manufacturing process. So the whatever the experience that gathered in uh, industry 3.0, it has been taken to the next level what you call as uh, uh, industry 4.0 or uh, industrial transformation 4.0. So Uber is one of the largest taxi company worldwide as well it, it does not even own a solitary car of its own. Similarly Airbnb has the same exact condition as a worldwide resort chain without a structure on its own. Both are simply a software program tools, platforms for producing value to the business. 
So you truly go to the heart of the improvement in modern technical advancement in manufacturing. So we are all crucial store of knowledge and wisdom. So modern manufacturing is looking appealing as the field embraces the uh, term called smart, the one that includes electronic technological advancement while capitalizing on the generation of previous experience which we gather from industry one, two and three. What I see presently and uh, also learned through the industry is that the basics are right as well as the prospects are real and also interesting. Exciting is the best term for it as businesses utilize uh, digital model technologies, robots, AI system or uh, artificial intelligence, augmented reality, 3D printing, predictive maintenance, internet of things and more or the brand new tools of the uh, industrial revolution 4.0 are called as industry 4.0 or smart manufacturing. The rate of change and the rate of manufacturing are enhancing tremendously. The entire idea of producing a product has actually been transformed on exactly how we do it, where we do it, who does it and with what products along with the human input. And also this is taking place today. So let us uh, uh, take off uh, two uh, important words normally like uh, it has been called by throughout the, uh, across the globe called as digital transformation. So the adding value to every customer interaction, uh, they are asking big questions like can we change our process in a way uh, that will enable better decision making, game changing efficiencies or better customer experience with more personalization. So one of the key element of a digital transformation is uh, understanding the potential of the existing technology available within the enterprise. Again, that doesn't mean asking how much, how faster we can we do the things in the same way. It means asking like what is our technology really capable of and how we can able to adapt our businesses and processes to make our technology investment. The real transformation comes when you look at all the available technologies and consider adapting your business to them that can give customers a better experience. A key component of uh, Industry 4.0 is the Internet of Things that is characterized by connected devices. Not only does this help internal operation, but through the use of the cloud environment where data is stored, equipped, and operations can be optimized by leveraging the insights of uh, using the same equipment to allow smaller enterprises access to technology that would not been able to do on their own. And when we look back 30 years from now, the companies who are adapting the technologies realize industry 4.0 potential. These same companies are also grappling with how to upskill their current workforce to take on new work responsibilities and made possibly by internet or industry 4.0 and to recruit new employees with the right skills. Now let us uh, have a quick look on what are the, some of the key pillars in manufacturing. The first one being the product lifecycle management or uh, called as uh, PLM. So it is the widely utilized word wide word among different manufacturing industries. The key objective of PLM is to work together with the details, process, data and people which are attached with the life cycle of a product within the enterprise. So that is going to be like, a, it's going to be a new product development. So mainly it comprises of three different uh, uh, classification as what you see here. One is the uh, beginning of the product life cycle, middle of product life cycle and end of product life cycle. So PLM is going to take care of uh, design data or CAD data or you can say product data or a product structure or bill of material uh, whatever the terms we can use it in terms of enhancement to the processes it develops and also similarly regulates the cost of products it records as well as uh, you can say it stores the 
product digital document data source so if you look at the what do you say like a it kind of a process a business strategy that helps in recognizing the product compliances automates business process through process streamlining and monitoring it helps in control multi user product collaboration what you're seeing in the right hand side is the evolution of plm from your from it starts in 1985 plus it's called as the enterprise data management then in 1990s mid 1980s it is called as product data management or product data management and in late 90s it was called in different names collaborative product data management collaborative product commerce and then product life cycle management and from 2017 onwards they are called as the smart plm or plm 4.0 that uses the uh, latest uh, modern technology of industry 4.0 so understanding the different capabilities of plm module is a vital activity for any manufacturing enterprises or who are into product development so enterprise need to be pro being proficient in advanced manufacturing that requires to integrate plm system uh, acquire integrated data throughout the supply chain to achieve success cad data along with plm quickly share and additionally uh visualize the product details with essential decision makers in the selection of divisions from engineering to excellent quality control the next uh, key pillar is going to be the enterprise resource planning or called as erp so it is a process used by the different companies to manage and integrate the important parts of their business as per oracle enterprise resource planning refers to a type of software that organizations or enterprises used to manage day to day business activities uh, such as accounting procurement project management risk management compliances supply chain operation so basically most of the companies uh, who had been adapting the industry 3.0 uh, every company has uh, enterprise resource planning uh either the proprietary one or the in house developed or the legacy application is used in most of the industry a complete erp suite is it, it is going to include enterprise performance management and uh, software that has helps in planning budgeting predicting and report on an organization's financial result so erp uh you can call as a material requirement planning plus manufacturing resource planning so erp without uh, plm it was a hard time to organize product data and might mishandle product changes to be inaccurate with cost effective rework so plm is the beginning tool that erp should follow so plm is made to used to manage design and development of product and erp is used to handle the mass product purchasing as well as the resource preparation up for sale along with the manufacturing So the next pillar is the manufacturing execution system, or called as uh, MAS. These are electronic systems utilized in a manufacturing environment to track, control, as well as record the transformation of raw material to finished product. So this is make sure that the manufacturing operations are efficiently executed to enhance uh, production output. It supplies an immediate uh, intermediate aggregation between the Uh, aggregation and management bridge between ERP system and a SCADA or a process control system, managing the automation of equipments. MES enables manufacturing to be a run without human involvement and also keep a responsible and controlled manufacturing flow. It is going to be the bible of any manufacturing industry, or you can say it is the blood of any manufacturing company. Uh, without MES, uh, it is very tough to. track the product from raw material to final finished good it also provides a bridge that incorporates uh, manufacturing monitoring to design configuration and also specifications which are maintained in the computer aided design or plm solution as well as procurement supply chain in erp advanced manufacturing requires a correct planning of resources high quality of uh, management efficient use of devices on the production line monitoring of devices and also the routines of the operators as well as 
quick feedback to the disruptions and unexpected occasions. So ERPs are particularly created to manage company-wide resources, scheduling and supply chain needs, as well as some interpretation. Many innovation, innovative production settings either utilize or use some degree of ERP system to coordinate the many relocating components in order to complete on a global scale. A lot more, uh, particularly MES, uh, keep an eye on as well as synchronize the execution of a, a real-time physical process associated with the manufacturing operations. To do so, they collaborate the flow of work orders with manufacturing scheduling and also ERP, PLM systems, everything. So MES work in real time to enable the control of several elements of the manufacturing process such as supply, workers, machines and assistant services. By utilizing an MES to track and also record manufacturing, uh, these applications offer uh, responses on a process improvement as, as they can sustain part and material level traceability as well as integration with process history wherever is required. The next uh, main industry uh, can say it is one of the main innovation of uh, industry 3.0 is uh, the industrial robots. So industrial robots is an you can say it is an automatically controlled uh, reprogrammable multi-purpose manipulator program in three or more axes. It is defined as the mechanical machine that is programmed to automatically uh, perform manufacturing related tasks in industrial environment. So industrial robots are considered to be a form of uh, flexible automation uh, since they are reprogrammable and can be used for many different types of robotic applications. Robots are growing into preferred automation choices of many manufacturers across the globe. Wherever do you find the uh, uh, operator costs or labor costs are more higher and wherever there is a, a lot of uh, danger which are is involved, uh, uh, involvement of robots has uh, taken a huge, uh, uh, you can say huge rise on most of the manufacturing industries across the globe. So industrial robots consist of uh, main five main components, a controller, a sensor, robotic manipulator, and an end effector and a drive. So these are uh, types of industrial robots like uh, articulators, CARA, Cartesian, parallel robots, cylindrical, etc. So this, these are the main key fillers which forms the base in industry 4.3.4, which is going to enhance in industry 4.0 with the help of the latest technologies. So to summarize, from the first industrial revolution mechanization through water and steam power to the mass production and assembly lines using electricity in the second, the fourth industrial revolution will take what started in the third with the adaption of computers and automation and enhanced with smart and autonomous systems fueled by data and machine learning. The main goal of the fourth the industrial revolution is to achieve a deeper connection between the physical and cybernetic worlds, mainly in the industrial sector, thus streamlining all the manufacturing process. The most crucial step towards implementing Industry 4.0 involves the integration of pre-existing business systems such as the computer data design, computer data manufacturing, enterprise resource planning, manufacturing execution system, product lifecycle management. And right now we are in the next phase called as Industry 4.0. Thanks for your time. You can refer to my publication for further details. Thank you.